All right, so at this point, I'm gonna be showing you how to perform the skills called assisting your resident with the use of a bedpan. But first, let me walk through you to my supplies and I'm pulling on this side. My supplies are, I have here a pair of gloves, or two pair of gloves, so one, two, three, four. That's, uh, that's gonna be your disposable chalk pad, disposable continent pad. Also have a book, it could be a magazine, a TV remote, or anything for her entertainment while she is doing number two. And uh, this is gonna be two pieces of barriers. One will be a liner for her uh, bedpan and the other one to cover the bedpan. So sitting here on the side. Also have a sanitary wipes, hand wipes, it'll be on the side as well. This is about similar to what they have at the testing center. This is going to be her toilet paper. And it's going to be uh, composed my supplies. Of course, don't forget the actual bed pan. Bed pan should not sit anywhere. It should not be on the table. It's going to be on one spot there at the testing center. And finally, do not forget she should have a trash can on this side. And she will just extend her arm and drop the used uh, toilet paper on this side here. Okay, let's let's get going. Then I'll go, already wash my hands, knock, knock, knock. Good morning, Mr. Mario. My name is Romeo, and I'm your CNA today. I'm here to assist you with a bedpan. May I come in? She says, yes. And then I'll go inside. Definitely, I'm going to check for the wristband. My name's Mary. There you go. Just confirming that is you. I'll close the curtain for privacy. And I'll make sure the wheels are locked. The bed is in the lowest position, and the call light. Is over there. If you need anything, let me just uh, take close the curtain for your privacy if I haven't. Then I'm, I'm back with my supplies. Mm -hmm. She's married. All right. So at this point, I will just have to make sure that I adjust the bed to my comfortable height. Okay. And that's adjusted there. I'll keep the bed uh, on a supine position for Miss Mary. And this is the time and I'm going to put on my gloves. So this is going to be my first glove. Okay, and then immediately after this, she's, I'm not touching her yet. Then I fold this uh, disposable bed pad, and then I angle that already. They call it fan fold, so it's easy. Uh, when it's under here, you just have to sweep it all the way to the other side. And then I fold it this way, it's Mary. I'm just gonna put this underneath here, okay? Yes, all right. Okay, I'll practice my body mechanics. Ms. Mary, can you please uh, help me? You raise your buttocks. Again, you have the option to turn her to the side, but I practice it. This is okay as long as you put that in there. Now, it may be crooked, it may be wrinkled, but when you say it's flat and smooth and it's properly placed, practice will give you points. Okay, now I still have my gloves on. Then I'm going to put on the bed pan. Okay, that's the bedpan. Do not put it past in this, uh, uh, the way it looks now. You have to put here what they call the liner, the bedpan liner. So what's the point of the bedpan liner? So when she um, drops the magical object, it will not hit the, the, the bedpan and leaves skid marks there. It will be on a disposable uh, paper towel. So when you dump that, it's still clean and you have to uh, sanitize that. Okay, so Miss Mary, you one more time to raise your box again. All right, so there. So the position is this. A line like that. Not this, not that, not that. Of course, not this, definitely. So handle, position that way, okay? Miss Mary, you raise your box one more time. Just put it underneath her, and then just close it. Okay, we're done here. And immediately, I will remove my gloves, same the way you guys were trained. So take off that gloves. Every time you remove your gloves, I'll make sure to sanitize that. Okay, at this point, I will have to raise the head of the bed. So let me raise the head of the bed, Miss Mary. Semi Fowler. Why is that? We help gravity for her to empty her colon. And I don't know if you tried that. It's very difficult to be doing number two while you're flat in bed. So this is about okay. 
We pay attention that she will always have her blanket because we need heat to help move the, the bowel. Okay, Miss Mary. Here, uh, I'm going to have to make sure that you are able to clean yourself up when you're done. So I'll raise it somewhere here. Okay, and you still have your gloves on that side for me to put here. So, Miss Mary, when you're done, make sure to please clean yourself up. This is your toilet paper. Make sure she can reach for that toilet paper. It's also in the book. What you've done, Miss Mary, I want you to clean your hands and uh, sanitize completely. Use this uh, towel there. And then you just put it here for now. Do you need a magazine or a TV remote um, or your favorite? iPad, cell phone, yeah, no? okay, good. So you want the magazine, all right, or, tea, or book. Okay, Miss Mary, when you're done, please drop it on the, in the trash can over this side. So that will not be a uh, messy day for Miss Mary. You can't be having all those toilet papers scattered all over the bed, all over the room. Okay, and then um, with my hands or glove, I'm gonna have to raise the side rail. Never touch the side rail, never touch the remote control with your gloves on. All right, so, okay, I will be right back, Miss Mary. And uh, we'll uh, walk on the bed as a lowest position. That's your collide. So let me know when you are done. So you have to step away without your gloves now, and then count maybe two, three seconds. And then, hi, Miss Mary, knock, knock, knock. I saw that your collide is on. May I come in? Yes. Okay, good. I'll be back. So are you, you have to confirm with your patient. Are you through, with, are you through Miss Mary? She said, yes, I'm done. Okay, very good. So uh, at this point, Miss Mary, I just have to lower the side, the, the, the head of the bed. Remember, you're not touching that with your gloves on and she's done, lower the head of the bed. So guys, I hope you're playing, you're, you're following. So, okay, I hope you are relieved now, Miss Mary. Put it back this way. Very good. And at this point, I will just have to put this to the side. I don't even have my gloves yet. Okay. And then I will confirm. Did you clean your hand, Miss Mary? She, she did. Okay. Well, that's that's great. All right. First thing that I'm going to do is I'll put my gloves on now. And if you're not sure if you raise the bed back to your comfortable height, just say it again. So bed is now on my comfortable height working level. Remember that if you forgot something, as long as you remember and you mention that you're proctored, then you will keep your, 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 your points in there. Okay, this is the time that I'm going to remove the bedpan. Guess what? When I remove the bedpan, I will also uh, more like grab the bed pad bed pad plus bed pad and as I pull that only one shot and then I will toss that to the trash can the bed pad okay so it's Mary parts made by the mechanics here and again um, the bed is on my comfortable height can you please raise your box one more time very good and then while I do that look I just pull it the same thing up here and then I'll just casually without touching my uniform I'll toss that into the trash can then here, it's very important, you have to eyeball this. Note of the amount, is that small, medium, large? Number two, look for abnormalities. What do we mean by abnormalities? Is there any bleeding in there? Parasites are of... Or... of the one, or whatever that is in there, a corn. Yeah, it's gonna be in there, or malungai. So now, make sure to cover that. Look, when you cover that, Clip this when your thumb. Hold it in there and clip that because it's not going to be flying. Okay, Miss Mary, uh, that's your call light if you need anything, all right? Usually, in a toilet. I will wash. I'm going to dump it in the toilet. I dump it in the toilet, wash, rinse, and dry, and put in a designated area. Then you come back. We still with your gloves on. You have to remove it now, okay? Then you're ready to move on to the next step. Wash my hands or sanitize my hands one more time. I'll put these items away. Okay, unless she wants to read the uh, read book again, Miss Mary, but I'm just gonna try to empty the table. Okay, and I can wash my hands if I want to. I'll sanitize my hands one more time. 
All right, Miss Mary, we are done. Let me make sure you look nice and all ready to go. Do you need your table? Yes. Okay, cool. I'll that enough talk here. And I'll just raise the side rail. You can just mention that. All right, side rail's now up, and then I'll take care of the trash. A lot of times, by the way, if you don't take care of the trash, the other CNAs are going to be cursing you when she comes up. So clean before you go. Clay, go. Clean as you go. Remember that? All right, Miss so Mary, do you need a TV remote troll, a magazine, or a book, an iPad? Okay, so you want a TV remote, you want to watch some TV. Do you want me to turn it on for you? So all these extras, you get points because they value communication. That's like number two. Communication. Oh, wow, there you go. Here is your remote control, Miss Mary. And Enjoy watching TV. And again, if I feel like I forgot to offer the remote control, remote control is back to you. The wheels are locked, bed is in lost position. And do uh, you want me to keep the, clo the curtains closed or open it? Open it this time. So open up for you. And again, the side rails up. And yeah, I'll wash my hands on docking. Yeah. So that would put that up there.